What's up? Welcome back everybody. Today's video is going to be one of your guys' personal favorites where we just do something dumb because why not? Uh, so today's video is a video you guys asked for. So somebody in the comment section a while back is like, hey, why don't we try some fan stacking? And I was like, well, then we could. Um, people have done it in the past. It doesn't really work out too good. But, you know, if you guys want to see it, uh, I'm here to help. And thankfully, Scythe has just released some of their new Kaze. Kaze? Kaze 120s, the Japanese word for wind, uh, 120 slim. So I got a bunch of the RGBs, thins, and the thicks. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take some scythe fans, we're gonna stack them up on an air cooler, and we're gonna see, does it do anything? Chances are no, but we're gonna try. Uh, I guess we're gonna start out with, let's first do some baseline testing. We'll get, we'll get the old fan out of there, we'll put one in. We'll do a run with just one fan. We'll do a run with two fans in the normal configuration. And then we're just going to start stacking them in the front. See what happens. Let's go. Okay, so we have that in there. Now I'm going to need to put the stock one back in there at the very end of this and get at least a baseline. But we're going to start with one fan and then we're going to just start building them outwards. I'm going to put this cover back on. But before we get to run our first test, we need to take some measurements because we got to make something to hold all these fans. So that's the idea here. Let's see. Basically the idea I have is We'll leave that fan mounted and then we'll make um, we'll make basically a bracket of some sort that kind of uses these two tracks to guide it. It'll kind of hang and then we'll stack the fans on the inside of it. Something like that. But we'll get some measurements, start testing. Well actually we'll start designing after we get some measurements. So this is the design we're going with, nice and simple. The idea here is this is where the first cooling tower is going to be right here. We got some clearances for the heat pipes. This is just going to slide on there. We're going to leave the other fan in there and we're just going to start stacking fans in this tube. Um, I'm kind of limited to how long I can make this based on my printer and I think we can only go about this far until we hit the front of the case. And then we got this clearance here for the cable. So fans are going to stack up right in here. Cables come through here and we'll see if it does anything essentially this might be like making a duct from the tower to the front panels that might help us but we'll see so let's get that stl file saved all right drag that in there jesus a little little larger than it looks oh, what's the easiest way to print this without losing a bunch of material I think we're, it's going to have to bunch of support anyway, but I think either way, we're going to have to go. Something like this. Well, as you can see, it's the next day. This thing uh, took a minute to print. Like, it's like between 12 and 15 hours. It took a long time. But anyway. This is how it's going to run, just to reiterate what's going on here. We got the stock fan in here. We're going to run 15 minutes of Ida 64 with the side panel on there. See how it does. Take that off. Put it one of these uh, normal Kaze 120s. K's, Kaze, what, you, know, you know what it is. We're going to put one of these guys, this normal stick version, where that fan is. Run the test with just the one. See how it does. And then we're going to start using this guy. This thing essentially is going to... going to mount like so uh, it worked out pretty good a little bit of warping took a long time to print and this distance was a little too too small so instead of doing another print broke it off and used a little bit of duct tape which is like the best thing ever for PC modding and now it fits great so we'll do one fan then we'll do two fans then three fans and we'll just keep stacking them all the way up and We'll get as close as we can to the next side. And I'm thinking this actually might work pretty good if you remember the video where we did the duct work. Well, this is essentially a powered duct. So, should work out good, right? Now, one thing about these Kaze 120s is like the normal one spins, what, clockwise. Uh, the skinny one, the slim, which is basically the same fan, spins counter. So we're gonna stack these in alternating fashion and maybe take advantage of some contra-rotating characteristics, maybe not, but that way we can get most, the most fans in there and we can maybe try to improve uh, whatever this situation is. But let's start running the tests and then we'll come back with uh, 
with our results. So what we learned from this monstrosity? Well, sadly, well, just look at the numbers. I mean, here they are, one fan, nine fans. The temperature's really the same. I mean, you're better off just sticking with the Noctua cooling fan because one, it's bigger. It's the biggest fan. It's a lot larger than the 120 Kaze fan, which didn't do too bad on its own, but there's really no benefit, which I think we all knew, from fan stacking. If it was gonna do anything to be good, I guess. If it was going to show any benefit to doing this, it's, I mean, I had it set up as best I can possibly make it. They're all concentric. They were, you know, ordered in a way that they all kind of spun against each other to give the best possible, you know, pressure increase, I guess you could say, the best possible static pressure from fan stacking. They weren't all spin the same direction, causing a bunch of rotational, you know, airflow. Everything was as good as it can get and just doesn't do anything. And it's loud. I mean, if you just compare one fan, the, the stock fan that comes with this D15 versus nine of these bad boys whirring away. It's pretty loud, so. Either way, you know it was fun to try. And if you have any more cool ideas, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Or if you think there's a way to make this work, which I'm very doubtful of, let me know, because I'll try it, because here on Major Hardware, or on this channel, we like to do stuff just because. So until next time, have fun.